www.simonfromsimonwoods.com. I have a, a rather tall, the elegant bottle of uh, Spanish wine in front of me. Um, it's Torres Floralis Moscatel Oro, Vino de Licor. Uh, vino de Licor means it's... It, it, I, well, I, I'm presuming it's made this way. Uh, they will... It, it, it's not actually... Uh, fermented wine. What's happened is they, they've got grape juice and then added brandy to it. And um, so it's um, it, Van der Liqueur in, in France. Uh, the most, uh, the best known one is Pinot de Charente, um, made in the, the place where they make um, brandies in um, in, in uh, south southwest France. But uh, anyway, let's give this a whirl and uh, see where we get to. Muscat always reminds me of barley sugar and. Um, <laughs> This is, uh, I stick my nose in there, as if someone has distilled barley sugar sweets. Uh, it is, um, it, it, it smells slightly marmalade and uh, uh, heady and the sort of thing that you want to uh, have almost like as a winter tea time treat with your, uh, instead of uh, afternoon tea at about half past three, uh, have a cake, a uh, piece of Madeira cake or maybe a mince pie this time of year uh, and a glass of this and... Uh, it smells, not the most complex of wines, but it smells uh, enticing. And it is enticing. It's just honest, juicy, gluggable barley sugar squeezed into a glass. Um, I, I've probably got it at slightly warm temperature at the moment. Um, I think it could take a, a little bit more of a chill. But um, it's really nice, honest, juicy... Uh, a purist might look at it and say, I'd like a little bit more acidity in there. But it is what it is. And uh, if I had that with a mince pie, I think I'd have a rather good afternoon. See you soon.